Don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jess, you need help. Hello. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I like croissants mm -hmm. and donuts. Donut is not French, right? <laughs> it's not, man. I like a good king almond actually. Mm. What's yeah. that? But it's like a super rich and buttery and sugary thing. I, okay, I don't usually eat um, pastries. I'm more of like tiramisu. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that's it! That's it! I'm coming out! Yo, there's this meme. The old couple, they try to do less of this food. Then they keep saying buttery flaky crust. But then they keep saying, you know, so they have buttery flaky crust. The line is baked in a buttery flaky crust. Baked in a buttery flavoured crust. Ah, uh, crust. Yeah. Baked in a buttery crispy crust. Flaky. I like flaky all again. So I like it to be buttery. I like to be flaky. And I like to have that very nice crust on top. But then when you bite into it, it's pillowy on the inside. Mm. Mm. Copy paste. Tweet. Like. Share, subscribe. Bye! <laughs> okay, I like doughy for sure. I don't like the yeah, say crispy, crunchy. Because for practical reasons, right? It's just such a mess. Mm -hmm. Then you take one bite, then it's like ooh, 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 raining. I used to buy from the brother bird. So I like the original one. I also like the chocolate one. But... I like it cost, right? Yeah, they got mochi croissant. Oh. Matcha mochi croissant. Don't judge me, but actually my favorite croissant is from Giant. It's very cheap. I don't know how much it costs, it but it's a lot. Gardenia or something, right? It's Giant House brand, dude. Oh. But okay, my, my go to croissant <laughs> is Tiong Bahu Bakery. Wow, you fancy, yeah. That one's not, not cheap, eh? Oh. It's quite affordable based on like the amount of work. So since we won't be able to travel to France for some authentic croissants, today you'll be trying out five croissants from five different places and you will have to taste and rate them accordingly. Damn, five! Mm. Yes! Mm. Bonjour! Will Giant be one of them? <laughs> Actually smell like around the milk croissant. Like, I don't think this would be like artisanal kind. I might have a good sense of Ooh. where this is from. Actually, when I cut through, right? Yeah. Doesn't have a very nice feeling. What do you mean by very nice feeling? Like, it's just very a bit doughy here. Mm -hmm. Oh my word! Mm, buttery, buttery. Yeah, it's very buttery, and the the cross section is a work of art. Yeah, I mean that is expected of a croissant. Really beautiful. One tip for when when you eat croissant, right? Don't inhale. Oh, <laughs> it will shoot into your throat, yeah. right? Wow, that is so embarrassing. Can you imagine? <laughs> You get the crispiness from the top, the layers on the inside, the fluffiness of the bread, and then the butter. Now you know if it's something that mm. uh, a local bakery, you know, you just walk past, you want to go home, you want to munch on mm. something. I'll buy it. Uh. Two twenty. Uh. Yeah. Okay, this is something that I wouldn't point. like because it's yeah. too crispy. It's very messy also, mm. but flavor wise, the butter, mm, super buttery, mm, super buttery, but not my kind of. Croissant. It's more towards the savoury side also. You need to drink Milo with this lah. Like a coffee or tea. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah. Oh shit! The exterior seems more flaky. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is. And a lot softer. Yeah. Okay, this one look like a curry pop. Oh my! <laughs> okay, it's very flat. But this one, the bakery. The, the, the patisserie. <laughs> yeah. But he like lazy. Not enough folks. Yeah, he fall over like, okay, whatever. Okay, Into the oven you go. Does it taste like frozen prata? Yeah. <laughs> There's this aftertaste that I don't really like. It's just metal mm, taste. Is it metallic, right? A bit. Okay, this is definitely doughier than the previous. Mm. I don't know, it's lacking of the butter taste. Mm. I feel like the butter that they use is not that premium. And it's definitely like, got added salt. But I think that the part that I don't find it to be as well as the first one is that it has a lack of the fragrance of the butter. Mm. Uh, After taste is just not my thing. Like this one has better doughiness mm. but the flavour is just not right. Whereas I... for that one the butteriness is nice but it's too crispy. I agree. <laughs> Hopefully you can only get better from here. Yeah, hope so. Tiongbao Bakery, please, next. <gasps> Damn. Talk look, at the, look at the cross section, guys. Nice. In comparison to, to the first two, right? When you press down on this one, it bounces back up. Yeah. Mm, 
I'll dip myself in this. Eh. You dip yourself in I'll this. Dip myself in this. Please. This looks sexy, yo. Yeah. I feel like it's either John Baru Bakery or Brother Bird because oh, they put in effort to do the egg wash stripes. Yeah. That is such like meticulousness. Mm-hmm. And look at how many layers. It's so. I will gladly pay four dollars for this. Oi. Like the first one is still strong in the buttery front, mm. but this, in terms of technique, right, is like a 10 10. Right? So I'm not wasting my calories. Great balance between the airiness mm. and the doughiness. For me, I still find it too crispy, but that's just because I like like super doughy. Then myself eat the 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 one haven't cooked yet. <laughs> Hey, don't be rude. Huh? Confirm them though, yeah. I think this is very good. It's buttery but not too rich and it's nice and salty but not too salty. Am I vibing with this cross? Are you vibing with this cross? This has a very strong hit of butter. It slaps you. It. it slaps you. This seems the most brother bird like. Boring. Oh! That's rude. <laughs> Their fans will come for you. Do you know how loyal their legion of fans okay, okay, is? Okay, I'm sorry. Ooh, the butter. Oh my god, that's so nice. So wow. Ooh, this is what I mean, the roundness. Oh. Even in my nostrils, there's the roundness. Is it? Okay, maybe I try. <laughs> it's also not as oily. How much calorie is one croissant? There are questions that you wouldn't want to answer. I like it, but, but? You know, it's not hitting that happy button for me. When I start to frown in happiness, like I like. Mm. So it's on the saltier side, mm. but damn it, the texture is freaking crazy. Yeah, I really love the inside. It's so yummy. Wow, the the doughiness is. Mm. It's so nice, and then if you look at the layers, you can see a bit of yellowish, yellowish butter. Is this brother bird? It better be brother bird. Ooh, it's so glazy. Big boy. If you were to bash down the crust, right? Oh. Yeah, you cannot do it. I don't really like a crust that's this hard. I, I don't know about you. I like to peel open. Yeah. The smell a bit like lobster. Oh my word, look at that. Yeah, the cross section like beautiful. And it's so big, how they get it to be so big? <laughs> you would know. <laughs> this is how it goes on, right? You eat two, uh, you scorn and sort of one. Well, you know IKEA, there's this like pastry snack. Then there is a strawberry jam in the middle. The texture is just like that. There is no dough. Oh. Like, I, I, I don't feel the doughiness. Maybe the part that I would probably enjoy the most is the tail end of it lah Where there's a bit more dough mm. Cause the flippiness is a 5 for me eh. I like drier croissants mm. But I'm just a bit sad that I couldn't compress it and peel it off like this It's already flaky for me mm. And I don't taste much of the dough Okay, the middle part is doughier I, I never reached the I finished really? Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I didn't know I finished really, but... <laughs> I finished really but I don't I haven't reached There is, yeah. there is no doughiness Press mm. it So far, I've taken three bites and mm. they all have three different flavours. First one was quite salty, second one was a little bit sweet, and then the third one was more butter pronounced. So I feel like if you love variety, wow, this one will take you on an adventure. You'll be like, what's next? Then you there, another I, bite. There, there I don't think it's consistent. Eh. I think they because are. Because I don't taste it. Their ingredient distribution is like, <laughs> then your one is uh, maybe a different. <laughs> they could do one. <laughs> Yeah, sober ones are the most confusing ones, but artisanal mm. ones are the ones that I've tried before, so... Wait! This Al Croissant person is the best! Wow! Al Croissant! <laughs> I rated 4 and 5 as my top ones. Basically because they, they've got the best of everything lah. The flakiness of it, butteriness of it. But what I would expect more is a bit of savouriness when it comes to the croissant. I like 4 a lot. It's a French bakery. Oh, because I've never tried before, but I was genuinely quite impressed with it. And I'll pay good money for it. Ow! Ow! It was croissant. phenomenal. Yeah, man. It's the kind of food where you eat and you're like, what? Why does it taste so good? Okay, the rest are not bad, but so so sorry to Deli France, but when I ate it, I was like, yeah, Deli France. Because Deli France is quite expensive. So I was expecting maybe their croissants to be a, a bit tastier. That's why I picked one. Mm. No, I was quite shocked that 
Yeah, Delifrance, uh, I don't like the metallic taste. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would think that Delifrance would actually have a better tasting croissant. Right. I think our croissant is like a nice place where you go and buy, and then you go to your workplace, and then you have like a coffee, then you're like, I'm Emily in Perry, you, you know oh, what I mean? And then leave your flicks all over your office. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what your keyboard crevices are for. It's <laughs> a <laughs> <laughs> hey, No, no. Then, you no, I want in, to go and go to Then you should sure sure it's another snack for later in the day. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of Taste Testers. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and watch our other videos over there. Bye bye. Bonjour. No, that one. Au revoir. Au revoir. Uh, merci beaucoup.